I don't know why I look like a chipmunk. I think it's just the lighting. I don't feel like I look like a chipmunk, but this lens keeps popping in and out of focus because I dropped it. Hello, welcome to the vlog. I just want to tell you about a few things that have been going on. I've been really busy. I've been a little behind on videos because I have a couple of big jobs and I'll explain one of them coming up. But uh, I have a great team, a great new team behind me on my website. I want to thank those guys. They've been putting together some great stuff and pushing me to develop product, which is why I've been doing so much product. So please go to my web store, check out. We have some new hats and some shirts for sale. And of course the razor blade, we are gonna probably sell out pretty soon of the, the first lot of the razor blades. And I'm trying to figure out how to manufacture it at a different factory. I'm trying to get it made. And uh, so it's not easy getting something as simple as this made. I'm shopping around. So again, there's still some available for the first lot, but we'll see where it goes. I'm doing some plasma cut knives. Ice picks are coming up. We're making a bunch of ice picks with magnets in the back. We're going to try and really keep the store full with a new fun product and uh, developing new stuff every day. So thank you to everybody that's already been to the store. It is greatly appreciated. So remember these stools I made a few weeks ago? I am making some more for some private people. Those first four that I made were for me in my kitchen and they're great. I love the size of them. And now I'm making a bunch more. I'm actually looking into figuring out how to make this into a kit. Um, working behind the scenes with a couple of factories trying to figure out how to maybe make this a kit that you could buy in pieces and that you could make yourself. Some complicated welding stuff trying to figure out how to make that kind of nuts and bolts anyway i'm laying it out there right now it might become a product obviously you'll be the first to know if it does this is my other really big job i've been working on these these woodies, they're called woody trailers for bullet bourbon. They're gonna be in-store displays inside really big retail shops in and around the United States. One might be coming to a store near you. I'm making these five, I might make another five. It all depends on how well the program goes. By using the CNC machine, it made making several of these really, really, really easy. Obviously, it's a complicated product to build several of, but with the CNC machine and some standardization of some parts, it basically becomes just like a, a factory manufacturing process. And it's gone super smoothly. There's a few things I need to make. I'm actually making the wheels on the CNC machine. Really, really, really fun job to be able to figure this out. They all have to be ready by next week. And then I can get back to making some fun videos. This of course will be a video on its own. My bandsaw collection grows. I keep promising a video on my bandsaw collection. This is a bandsaw that I got on Facebook Marketplace. The price kept coming down, and then I, I gave the guy a, a low offer, and he said yes, so I jumped on it. Rob Rojas has restored this one in my shop. He basically did all the dirty work, all the labor. Big shout out to Rob. Uh, once the video gets published, you'll be able to see some of the work that he did, and of course, most of the work that he did. And I will be doing some of the touch-ups. I need to get the motor hooked up and get the pulley system set up and that's that's the easy part but thank you to rob for for doing all this hard 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 labor thanks rob speaking of the bandsaw i was looking to have a replacement logo these american bandsaws have this really cool logo of an eagle and uh, i asked around on instagram if anybody knew somebody and this guy ryan sellers came to me through tom and he makes incredible graphics right up my style. I love what he's doing and we talked and he sent me some, some water slide graphics. You soak them in the water and they become 
basically look like kind of slimy and then you put them in place and when they dry they're they're become like kind of part of the paint look at how beautiful this work is he actually prints them himself he obviously does the graphics himself i don't know if ryan needs any work but ryan thank you so much hopefully people watching will call on you you do incredible work thank you I want to show you guys this new incredible acquisition I got. There's a local junk picker up here that knows I'm looking for things with a lot of gizmos on them or as Hand Tool Rescue says, gizmosity. So I am always, always asking local guys. People say, how do you find this stuff? You got to ask around. You got to, these guys that go in barns, I, I would love to be able to do that, but I'm too busy making YouTube videos. As much as I'd like to do that, I do it a little bit, but I have a couple of guys out there that are doing it for me. They send me pictures, they send me text messages. Hey, what do you think of this? Is this something, if I pull it out, would you want it? And these guys give me first crack at a lot of the things they find, especially since they know that I'm willing to jump on all this crazy stuff. This is a paper cutter, a line shaft driven paper cutter from 1870s. The patent's 1873 on this one. It is such a beautiful piece of machinery, turn of the century. Uh, whatever you want to call it, a uh, 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 industrial revolution. It is just, this, this is like pure art. Even if this thing never actually cuts paper again, just looking at it, it is incredible. And the main reason I bought the racetrack across the street is I'm going to turn the main building into a, a my printing press collection museum. And this is going to be one of the star pieces. It is just so so beautiful. Got to take a close look at some of these graphics on here too. Look very similar to what Ryan is doing. So this is just incredible. I'm going to clean this up. We're going to get it polished up. I don't know if it'll be a full restoration video. I don't know if it warrants that, but it is just such a cool machine. And in the next vlog, I will definitely show you it working for sure. A big shout out to Lincoln. It is their 125th birthday. Thank you, Lincoln. They sent over this Ranger 330 for me to test drive. And one of the first things I did with it, I cut the floor replacement panels for the Cadillac. Cadillac kind of got put on hold because of the bullet job came in and it's taken away from a few things, namely the Cadillac. So uh, I'm gonna get back on it as soon as the woodies are out of the door. Once I get the floors welded in place and once I get the gas tank, I'll be able to kind of get back on the Cadillac I can get it mobile, move it around, and then I can really put some work and time and energy into this. One of the main reasons for the vlog tonight is also to announce I wanted to make sure that people know that the go-kart race is still on. It's not going to be the event that I thought it was going to be eight months ago when I first thought of it. But if you're in the area and you want to come, at the very least it will be a day hangout on July 4th here in East Durham at the racetrack. Whoever shows up, we'll have a hoedown, we'll have some fun, we'll bring you tools, we'll fix my go-karts which are in bad shape. And we'll have some fun. I think it's going to be just a fun hoedown. I know there's some local guys that are coming. Bring a go-kart. We'll run around the track. If at the very least, we'll all get to hang out and have some fun.
Wanted to show off the new metal roof on my machine shop slash blacksmith shop. It is a McElroy standing seam. It really came out beautiful. My friend local here, Sean, installed it. He did a fantastic job. And it really, really, really spruces up the backyard. I have the same McElroy standing seam roof on the house. And we wanted to match it. And I got... I got in touch with the sales guy over at McElroy and he cut me a deal. If you're interested in a standing seam roof, take a close look at McElroy. The website will be in the link in the description below. It's a beautiful product. Looks like it's going to last for a really long time. I'm really happy we finally got this roof on and in place. We went into October and then winter came and then the roof just sat undone. And finally we got it done. So thank you to McElroy and thank you to Sean for doing such a beautiful installation. Thank you, Sean. More on some homesteading stuff. We're going to bring the horse to the house. Taylor has a horse that is kept at a stable nearby. And for years, we've been thinking about bringing the horse to the house. We're finally making moves to bring the horse here. We're putting in a Kentucky style fence around this. Probably, I guess, I don't know. This is, I guess, about two acres in the property that we, we keep mowed. And we're going to put up a barn coming very soon. There's so many things going on. And in the meantime, we're going to try and do a barn raising at one point before the end of the summer. And so that's gonna happen right here on this plot of land. So we'll see, we're building a garden and a barn and a pasture for the horse. And this fencing goes in so cool. This machine, have you ever seen one of these machines? It just like bangs the poles into the ground. It's unbelievable. We had a local fence guy come with his machine, but then we also rented one and it is amazing. Look for a machine called the Fence Pounder. Fence Post Pounder, something like that. I got some really great mail in the last couple of months. So guys, thank you all very, very, very much. Andrew Stanfield and his family sent me a beautiful care package. He found all this really cool metal stuff at a recycling center. And then his kids sent me these beautiful notes. Thank you guys so much. It's really heartwarming to get these letters and these packages. Thank you to Andrew, Sawyer, and Simon. Thank you guys. And Tyson, thank you for sending me this cool metal stamper. I'm going to put this on a poster soon. When you stamp, what happens is these things change numbers. It's a, a number counting stamper. So every time it hits the paper, it advances the number. So you could do a count how many prints you're going to do. Or you could do like a series and everyone has that number on it. So thank you, buddy. Thank you. Jerry Maloney, thank you so much. Jerry's an exhibit designer and these are some books that displays some of the work he's done. Also, it's just some great inspirational art books. So, Jerry, thank you very much for sending me such a beautiful collection of books. Unbelievable, thank you. Big thank you to Mike Mulligan at Copilot Designs for sending me chickens in the mail for my birthday in April, but they only just came now. Mike, thank you so much. This is one of the most thoughtful gifts. I think, I think it's the strangest gifts I've ever gotten is a box full of live chickens. So thank you very much. I'm doing my best to keep them alive. They're really fragile at this stage and they're so cute. Thank you to Dave Johnson for sending me a vice and some really cool hammers. Dave, thank you very, 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 very much. It's so thoughtful of you to, to find a vice and put it in a box and mail it to me. It's, it's an honor. Thank you. I don't know if you notice I've been wearing a Starrett shirt. I've been talking to the guys over at Starrett and they've been kind enough to give me some products. So Starrett, thank you very much. I've been using Starrett products anyway because they're such beautifully designed heritage style tools and I'm so honored that they would consider sending me some stuff to play with and to test drive. So guys, thank you so much. I think you'll be seeing some more Starrett stuff on my, my channel in the upcoming product development videos. I have some new product development concepts I'm going to be working on in the machine shop, things uh, for future production for the website. So Starrett's going to help in a big way. I'm proud to wear that, that name. So Starrett, thank you very much.
Thank you for following along. As soon as this bullet stuff is out the door, as soon as I'm done with these big bullet woodies, I'm going to get back to building some fun, cool stuff. So thank you everybody for the support and go to the website and check out some of the new products. Good boy, Chip. Come here, your heel.